Trainers, welcome to another episode of RGJ Trains. As you can see, the shed today is a little bit brighter. Um, this is the reason we thought we'd do the introduction with me. I'm Grace, uh, Rob's other half, and I've been brought onto this project to do the arty bits, uh, the scenery, so a lot of my work will be coming later into the episode. Um, today, as you can see, we've painted everything white, it's just going down as the base colour, just getting it started really. You guys are following us through the journey from beginning to end, so including the shed restoration. So as I said, today we've just been painting everything white, just as the base coat, so hopefully things are looking a bit brighter. So as you can see, we've got a few patches now, the shed's drying out, we've got a few patches that are a bit damp and they need coming out, they are going to be the next step and finishing the coats of white and probably adding maybe a pale blue across the top sides to go to go with the scenery. A um, little bit about me, I'm with Rob as we've all guessed and I work with him on the ambulances as well as well as being an artist. I do a lot of portraits at the moment but this is why we're going to be using my skills further down the line for all the scenics the little bits like the road, the painting, it's just bringing me in for that part. So just saying hello to everyone and hopefully see you further in on the episodes. the restoration part of the shed that we're going to be doing um, as you can see over here especially a huge damp patch this was from previous roof that's now been fixed so we've got to pull that out replace it um, the same as further down in this corner you can see a huge damp patch um, that again is going to be taken out repaired now a big thing that's Obviously you guys yourselves, we've seen a lot online on other videos, is security. We all know how much all the equipment, the locos, just everything you put into a layout costs. So we've definitely thought about our security. We've got cameras outside the shed, we've got one inside the shed if the worst was to happen. Now that brings us on to the next part of the restoration is the windows. We've got two windows here, lovely for the natural lighting, but again with security in mind, we're going to be taking this window out here, that will just be replaced with a board, which is why we waited to sort the damp patches out. It just made saves it doing it all in one. Um, this secondary window here, we're going to look at just upgrading, it's the window from when the shed was first made, so we're going to look at getting the double glazing in, a lot warmer for us as well. Um, and again, it's just that security protecting all our gear, which you guys will appreciate yourselves. We'd all be disappointed, you know, and mortified really if you found your ship was broken into and you lost everything. So we've still got a little bit to go before, unfortunately, we can start the layout. But then once we've got everything finalised, we're going to start building the layout as Rob has previously discussed. We're looking at a board here, following the layout all around to the other side. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the journey as we're going along. I know at the moment it's still more DIY at the moment than loco building, but we're going to get there and hopefully you guys will stay with us with this process. We just wanted to help maybe people that are like us starting from scratch you know, giving some ideas so they know where to start from as well. When it's also for us, just so we can look back at the progress we've made and maybe do something differently the next time. So we just want to say, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you shortly, maybe another little upgrade as we've done bits that we've discussed today. 
and catch you again soon. Bye for now.